What up guys, it's been a while since I made a video, so I figured I would do a room tour. I haven't shown off my room in any videos, uh, and I've gotten a lot of new stuff since the last time I made a video, so I'm just going to show off everything. Um, got a lot of posters, a lot of knickknacks, a lot of figures obviously, so I'm just going to show it all off. So we'll get started with my uh, all, bunch of random stuff over here, and then we'll get, go to the shelf, and then yeah, you'll see. So there's Los Santos, some map of Los Santos, uh, just the random one that came with the game. Uh, fair warning, this room is old. As you can see, it's all torn up. There's a dog that stays in here with me a lot. She likes to hang out. Um, she tore up my garbage. Um, it's okay though. So, uh, I've got some Trump stuff. Two Trump things. Before anybody flips out or decides that I'm their best friend or whatever. It's just because I find it interesting that he became president. And I think that memorabilia of his stuff like this and stuff like this will be interesting to have later in, you know, later down the line. But anyway, uh, so I've got some comics up here, some old comics. Uh, we've got an old Gohan figure. We've got this 3.75 inch Iron Man, 3.75 inch Thor two pack that I got at five below. Um, I actually used to predominantly collect 3.75 inch figures, but I, I moved on to six inch recently. Well, like six months ago, um, this is Ant-Man, the Walgreens one, um, he's chilling on a gun, we got, I've got a bunch of these little metal figs sprinkled throughout my, um, sprinkled throughout my room, they're pretty good, they're, they're pretty cool, I guess, they're, I don't really, I don't ever open them, I always leave them in package, I think they look pretty cool in their package, I've got this magnetic Spider-Man that I've had since I was a kid, his feet fell off, but you know, he's still hanging in there. Uh, this, I did not draw this. I actually found this at Goodwill. Um, I got it for like five bucks. I thought it was good enough to, you know, hang up. I mean, it didn't need to just sit in a thrift store. I figured somebody should buy it. If anything, the, the four dollars I paid for it was worth the frame alone. Wow, you can see how dusty that is. Hey, um, we got trunks here. This is the Dragon Stars line. I'm, I like some of the Dragon Stars figures. I don't like some of the other ones. This movie was trash. Um, the, let's see here. Oh, here we go. We got some more 3.75 inch up here. Just a couple of them. Uh, Vision holding the hammer. Iron Patriot chilling. Um, all right, let's move on to the good stuff. So this is what started it all up here. The dinosaurs. When I was a kid, well, that's not a dinosaur. That is a Star Wars creature right there. <laughs> but the rest of these are dinosaurs. That big guy right there is actually what really started everything. Um, I, used, I used to take him to kindergarten with me every day. We got Deadpool with the lightsaber um, for show and tell because he was my favorite. Um, I don't really collect the dinosaurs anymore, but I was heavy into it when I was a kid. So moving on, the next thing I've been into since I was a kid, Star Wars. Um, I've always loved Star Wars. I still do. They are struggling struggling a little bit with the more, most recent movies, but you know I still love the uh, core franchise. Um, so we got Revan here. We got Darth Vader choking out a range trooper. We got um, freaking Tarkin. I almost forgot his name. I really love this Leia figure. That's why I've got two of her. One out of box, one in a box. Um, I've got Chewie, Han, Leia, Han and uh, Lando when they were young. We got a Death Trooper up there. Luke, Ray. And Kylo, and then we got the Kylo with the the metal diecast helmet um, that I got from Walmart. I got it on clearance for seven bucks the other day. Actually, we got some three point seven five inch um, figures mixed in here too. Some Lego, just some random stuff. Um, some minifigs here. We got a Leia in box back there. We got a book, some micro machines, all sorts of stuff on the Star Wars shelf. Um, just because you know. I've had I've had a lot of this stuff since I was a kid. It's not the six inch stuff, but all the other stuff sprinkled in there. Next shelf, I've also had a lot of this since I was young. Um, except for the SH figure arts and the Dragon Stars. But uh we got cell blast and trunks there. We got some standard some stand some bystanders watching. Good lord, I can't talk. Um Jito. I really like the Dragon Stars line. They they look pretty good for what they are, for the twenty dollars that they are. Um that Goku Black is SHF and he looks so clean. We got the Kaba. 
the legends themselves. Jiren, Kale, um, Golden Frieza. I like that Ultimate Gohan figure. Roshi, maxed out. That's actually a really rare figure. I've had it since I was a kid. Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I actually messed this SH up. Um, I was a genius and decided to leave him posed up next to a um, incense burner. And so he got some... He got some damage, some smoke damage or something on him. I don't know. I might be able to fix it, but I haven't tried. I love that Fat Boo figure back there. Um, I want to get the SHF, though. It's really nice. We got old, or, uh, Teen Gohan and Super Boo. And we got a lot of the older stuff up here. The little guys. I love that little Gohan figure. It's fully articulated. It's really nice. That messed up Goku, my dog chewed up, so I made it into a custom like battle damage Goku. We got the... The youngins fusing. We got some little mini figs that I got out of a 25 cent machine machine back in the day. Some GT stuff. And then some OG. OG Goku and a Shodo um, Vegeta. I like those Shodo figures, but they are expensive for that scale. Alright, moving down to the Marvel. So this is my Infinity War display we've got giant man and the wasp back there we've got a little ant man down here um iron man iron spider we got roadie we got star lord and gamora dr strange i really 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 love this updated thanos it looks so much better than the bath did i used to have the bath um but yeah i definitely traded them out we got the the new Hulk, hint, hint, as to what you might see later on in the video. Uh, we got Cap and Proxima Midnight and Black Widow squaring up. Black Panther. All of your favorite characters, except for a certain two-pack that came from a certain toy store that is out of business right now. Scarlet Witch and Vision. I really need them. Hit me up if you want to just uh, send those my way. <laughs> also, we got that true exclusive group. I love that figure. It's really cool. Probably try to keep it in box as well forever. Um, then we got the street level guys in the back there. Yeah, it's my Infinity War display. One of my favorites. A couple of these little minifigs here. Hulkbuster. And that is mislabeled as Hulk, even though it's Vision. So, that's kind of cool. And we got Nintendo. We got the Master Sword here. And, um... That Skull Kid. That World of Nintendo Skull Kid. One of my favorite figures. Um, one of my favorite World of Nintendo figures. I also love that Bowser. Uh, everybody always asks where I got it. My friend gave it to me for Christmas. It was found at Goodwill. I think it came as part of a board game. Um... Got Link on a on a horse there. We got Breath of the Wild Link about to whop a ancient arrow into Ganondorf. Zelda offering up the ocarina. The Mario Brothers and the Smash Brothers crew. Most of them at least, a good amount of them. Sheik in the back there. We got classic Mario hopping up. Um, then we got a lot of Pokemon stuff over here. So this is the SHF Ash Ketchum. Really, really clean figure. I really like it. This is a knockoff statue of Misty. Um, but yeah, the SHF Ash is really nice. Um, especially for the price. Wish it came with a little more accessories. But other than that, really clean figure. The champ is looking clean as well. And uh, I like that Snorlax figure a lot too. I would have killed for something like that as a kid, man. But uh, that's why I have it now probably. And then this Mewtwo, I actually prefer him over the really expensive one. This is the Tomy one that costs like 20 bucks or 15 bucks. Um, I just... there There's too many articulated points on the expensive one. We got some of the classic games back there. One of those old Burger King gold cards. A couple of them, actually. Um, and there's some, co some cards sprinkled in the background as well. An actual Game Boy Color. 
Yeah, that's the Nintendo shelf. And then down here, I don't have much. I've got this uh, Vader 30th anniversary or 20th anniversary or whatever. I think it's 30, no, 40th. Wow. 40th anniversary. Um, just going to keep that in box. It's not in like perfect shape or anything. I've got some boxes over here. Uh, Mace Windu's lightsaber. And then we've got my little mini DC display because I don't really collect DC. Um, here and there, I'll buy a DC figure like this Flash figure. I couldn't pass it up. thought it was really dope. Um, got her really cheap at, uh, Toys R Us before they went out of business. Um, and then these two I had, I've had them for a while. They're pretty cool. Oh, Joker fell over. I'll fix them later. And then, of course, everybody has to have one, at least one of these. A fidget spinner. Come on. And then down here are some of my 3.75 inch figures that I started off collecting. But, uh, yeah, I moved on to six. And then we've got some little Halo minifigs. I like minifigs. They're, they're all pretty cool. Some of these are customized. I like put gold paint on some of them to make them look cooler. Or in my eyes at least. We got some lightsabers. Always keep yourself armed. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, Rayquaza all the way up here. Yeah. So, uh, we'll move on to the... I don't know what just happened to the music there, but we'll move on to the Kingdom Hearts here. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, so, this is the Kingdom Hearts collection here. Uh, Diamond Select. They're pretty cool. Um, not the greatest quality, but they're pretty cool. I love Kingdom Hearts, so gotta get a little Kingdom Hearts memorabilia going in the collection. Um, we got Goofy and Pluto looking at each other, wondering how they're both dogs, but at the same time, completely different. Um, we got... King Mickey, Roxas, Axel. I'm missing Donald. I'm missing a few. Um, but yeah, I like these little figures. They're cool. As a kid, again, I would have killed. I, I remember looking for Kingdom Hearts figures when I was a kid. I could never find them because they didn't exist. Uh, we got a couple things on the wall up here. Got Moon Knight on top of an amiibo. Uh, that's the only amiibo I actually own. Just came with the game. Um... We got this cool old card here. We gotta show that off. Um, we got, let's see, Ghost Rider. We got a kit bash, uh, a kit bashed shield agent. It was just I had a body and an extra head. We got a uh, wolf cap with a custom shield. Um, we got some 3.75 inch in package. Right here, right here, right here. Old Venusaur card. Um, <laughs> that's just the extra pieces of Darth Maul. It almost looks like there's a full figure in there, though. Um, got some old comics. Yes. Um, great show, just saying. We got some movie covers, some old comics. Um, we got my Rick and Morty plush collection. We got Boxer Deadpool, chilling. Old and new. 3.75 inch Rick and Morty can't go wrong all superhero movies by the way yee 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 which one's your favorite let me know down in the comments uh we got shadow box this thing fell off of him I gotta fix it just haven't Thor Wolverine chiefin just chiefin on that we got range trooper and Serpent Society. Hit me up if you want him, because I don't really care for him that much. We got uh, Stretchy Spidey here. He's all stretchy. And we got Admiral Thrawn. Just chilling randomly over here for whatever reason. And then we got um, a baby. And then we got Ultron. Um, Alright. So, I will show you the other half of my room here in one Alright, so this abyss is all my boxes. I do keep the boxes. Um, there's a lot of them. I don't, I, I might end up throwing them away eventually. I don't, I don't know if I want to keep them. There's just so many and they're going to keep piling up. So, it's like, um, this is my secret identity. Don't tell anybody. Um, here's that Ultron figure again. We got some trade fodder, stuff like that. Just random stuff over here boxes to ship things for trades and stuff like that 
this to make stands, you know, some boxings, an old Human Torch figure, uh, an original 1974, or 1977, sorry, 1974, uh, original 1977 um, Star Wars poster that I got at Goodwill, a fake Yu-Gi-Oh card, and then we're going to move on to the Spider-Verse here, so we got Spider-Man just chilling right here, we got a Kit Bash, um, Skinny Venom, whatever you want to call it, I don't know, um, we got Beetle, we got the Vulture Build-A-Figure, which I freaking love that wingspan on him, we got another Kit Bash over here, we got the Parker Industries Spider-Man, but I put a bearded head sculpt, Peter Parker head sculpt on it, just thought it would make him look more defined as an older Peter Parker, we got Green Goblin, uh, um, what's his name back there, I could, I'm blanking on his freaking name, Shocker, um, Venom, and Spider Hulk, those are older figures, but they are still so sick, that uh, Black Symbiote suit is also an older figure, and so is that mech suit, um, we got Miguel O'Hara, we got Tom Holland, whipping it up, Tom Holland again, um, I like this little comic Spider-Man down here that came with this vulture right here, um, I don't have that vulture over here because there's not really any room, and this vulture is, is the better one, uh, but I mean, we got Mysterio, Mysterio was a recent pickup, he's really cool, I like that figure a lot, he was hard to find, and then that's it for the Spider-Verse for now. Down here we got Hulk and Hulkbuster fighting it out. We got the Infinity Gauntlet. In case I want to snapture everybody out of existence real quick like. Let me turn this down in case it's too loud. Alright, so we got X-23 in her uh, gray and black suit. Her X-Force suit. We got Red Skull trying to mess with Captain America here. Captain America is missing that punch hardcore. There we go. I knocked over this guy. We'll just say, uh, there we go. All right, cool. So I made these soldier, hy soldier hydras, these hydra soldiers out of, um, death star trooper, black series figures. Um, it works pretty well. Um, we got X force Deadpool and taskmaster. We got the band. You know how it is. Ant-Man on the mini piano. Gwynpool fangirling. There is the Venom Deadpool. That's where I got the head sculpt for this guy. Um, we got Cable. We got Old Man Logan. We got all the X-Men. Not all the X-Men, but we got a lot of cool X-Men here. More to come soon, hopefully. And then up here we got Silver Surfer, Thanos, Hela, we got Thor, we got Groot, we got Kamala Khan, we got Herbie or whatever his name is, The Thing, Human Torch, uh, Invisible Woman, and Mr. Fantastic. I know that's not the right head for the Invisible Woman, I need to get another one. I. I used her head for a custom Captain Marvel that you probably saw on the Marvel shelf. Um, we got Vision, Ultron's little minion, Ultron. We got um, Iron Monger. That Vulture I showed you guys. We got Domino just lucking it out real quick while she takes a shot like a boss. Um, we got the Guardian ship. And Black Panther, a little Black Panther collection right here. And we got the Illuminati. With Professor X down here, but yeah, the Illuminati. Um, oh, and then up here we got Iron Man and his little Iron Legion. Want to add to that. And then we got a little Star Wars homage up here. And, uh, we got a knockoff Goku figure right here. SHF knockoff. He still looks pretty cool, though. Just as, like, a random figure to put on display. And then we got the, uh, Dragon Star's Goku Black. This one actually came with a broken hand. Um, but I have the SHF Goku Black, so I don't care. Just keep it in the box. Um, and here's my calendar. 
And that's about it, guys. That is about it for my... Oh, and then we got down here, we got Ant-Man squaring off with Godzilla. I also want to get some more of those NECA Godzilla figures over time. Um, maybe some spe specific... Some Pacific Rim figures as well. Um, to maybe go along with the Kaiju collection. But yeah, I just, I keep getting into too many lines of toys and I'm going to collect way too much stuff. I'm going to run out of room. I'm already pretty much out of room as you guys can see. Just got him recently, like literally the other day. He looks so good. But yeah, let me know down in the comments below what, uh, what part of my collection is your favorite. Let me know if there are any figures on here that you haven't seen in years that maybe you had as a kid. Uh, and let me know what your favorite figure is in general out of all these action figures. Which one is your favorite? I don't even think I could tell you that, honestly. So I don't know why I'm expecting that of you guys. But hey, if you can figure it out, if you're not as on the fence as me, then uh, let me know down in the comments. Yeah. So, uh, you guys have a good one. Like and subscribe if you want to. Say hello to Sadie or say goodbye to Sadie. And, uh, I will talk to you guys again soon. I'll, I'll hopefully start making some toy hunt videos again here soon for you guys. Alright? Have a good one.